is why I'm 80-20. So I was going to be 80-20. Five days a week I was going to be complete vegan. No cheese, no, no meat, don't eat meat, don't shave my vagina, nothing. You know, total vegan. But then I thought, no, I can't live with this. It's a complete lifestyle and I cannot do this lifestyle. So the fact is I went 80-20. In all the years I've gained my body fat from 35 through 45, I've tried a lot of things to get it down, and do you know what? This is the only thing that actually took it down. I woke up, I felt slimmer, I felt less bloated. Yes, I farted a lot, and yeah, my stools were a little bit loose, but hey, nothing you don't get when you do. <laughs> anyway, so back to veganism. I'm going to spiralise one of these. This is a courgette, for any of you who don't know. This is a green courgette. So, I bought myself a little spiralizer from B&M. You know B&M, it's a cheap store. It's fine, it cost me about £10. You flip her on, so it's just like a sheath. See, don't, whatever you do, don't do that. It doesn't work, it doesn't come through there. Look, you do that, you just slip her in like that. And there you go. Oh! <laughs> just... They do that on the rain when they drop anything, but the fact is they don't really have water in the sink and they don't have an oven. It's disgusting when they cook on TV. Like that in there. You go like that, right? No real firm pressure needed here. You don't really need to push hard. You know what I'm talking about, girls, when some of the boys, let's say, don't do it so hard. Especially the ones what are of the faith. Anyway, flip her on. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. No pressure needed, girls, or boys, or gays. Here, look. It's very long spaghetti. Mind you. Mm. They say it's a girth that takes your breath away. <laughs> no, Flo, you won't like it. Oh, she might eat a bit of cool shit. Go on then, eat that. Eat it, clear the floor. Right, then you just slip over here. If you don't have a country kitchen and you don't have an argo, which is oil feud, or feud always stays nice and warm, then you can just do it on your hob or your gas or whatever you've got in your, um, in your kitchen at home. Nothing comes out when you rub this one. Right, slipper on. I put a bit of extra oil in. I'm going to have this with pesto. Now, I've put a bit of extra oil in myself because sometimes the pesto comes out a little bit thick and you want it to completely coat your courgette spaghetti. So through the day, like, for example, on my vegan pasta here with my courgette pasta here, I will put some Parmesan cheese. But that's maybe, what, 1% of my 20. So I've got another 19% throughout the day, which I can add to my um, 80. Now this, okay, is, I'd just like to add, it's a 70% dark chocolate. So this is my salt intake and my sugar intake, which is much more healthy for me than a, a fruit and nut. Now I'm up to about 2% of my 20. This is just Reggio Parmigiano. You won't like this, girls. Then, just I mean, the thing is, I've had the salt in my chocolate, so I don't need to add salt into my pasta. You see, because I could have gone here with my rock salt, but instead of that, I got the salt out of my 70% dark chocolate, which is vegan. So now I have my courgette, pesto, and one percent, well, half a percent of parmesan out of my 20% pasta. That was cooked in under five minutes with my spiralizer, 10 pound from B&M. All you cheap shoppers will know B&M. I'm not going to explain it. If you don't know, Google. Mmm. Oh, absolutely superb. And literally, I think you're burning more calories than you're taking in. I'll just leave that for later. Just stay there, Shannon. Keep focusing on the, um, keep focusing on that. That's it. Right, we'll go. On the, so yeah, keep focusing on the, on the beautiful spine and eyes. Oh, yes, this. Okay. This is vegan. Um, it's the, um, the cheese isn't so vegan. This is vegan and the tomato is vegan. Now there's 80-20 veganism for you. Now it does mean that you can shave your vaginas now, girls. I mean, we're not back in the 70s anymore. It's a modern day vegan, but like I say, cheat, you can have a little bit of 70% chocolate for your salt intake. That's all I'm saying. I don't call it cheating. I call it being real. 80% vegan. If I can do it, you can do it. Go buy a courgette.